up, y'all? It's Beer King with my boy David. We're over here at downtown San Jose. And right now we're drinking at a, a, a Dogfish IPA 120. 120. This motherfucker is 18% ABV. I already sipped on a little bit, this motherfucker is really kicking in. 18%, it's like being in a fucking 12 pack at the Gato by itself right here. Pretty fucking towing. We're over here at the original Gravity in downtown San Jose. a little new spot, you know. But we're just here trying this shit out. I got my boy David down from Motown. He's from San Jose, from the hometown. I'm actually from here, downtown. But, yeah. you know, he's out here for some uh, for business. You know, tell him what you do. <clears throat> I'm out here for the uh, for the uh, Oscar De La Hoya Golden event for uh, Robert the Ghost Cabrero. He's going to be fighting at 8 a.m. It's a good fight. Uh, gets, if he gets his win, he gets a shot at Floyd Mayweather, supposedly. That depends if 50 cents uh, doesn't get <laughs> get, get involved. Fuck 50, yeah. I got a dollar in it. Fuck 50 cents. You know? I know. <laughs> I mean, him and uh, him 50, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, 50 cents going at it, you know? You know, Oscar's saying he can make change out of him. And, uh, you know, 50 cents, he's gonna buy him a new word, wardrobe of uh, stockings and a wig. And, uh, and we all know that Oscar does in his spare time. <laughs> <laughs> some stockings. But this beer ain't that bad, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I got caught, I got distracted right now. Yeah, <laughs> but this, this beer, it's a... It's, you can tell it's heavy I mean, as far as the, the ABV in it, but I don't, I don't have a, 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 a like a sweet taste to it. You could smell it. You could smell the sweetness on it first, you know, and then when you taste it, you're, you know what? If you're a, a Nyquil lover like myself, you know, I like Nyquil. It's gonna taste like Nyquil, but then it ends up getting sweet down when it comes, you know, when it travels down to the Hansa. So it's good beer. It's not that bad. The only thing I don't like about it, bro. The the glass. Glass. It makes you kind of feel like a fag where you put on these glasses, man. You know? These are the glasses they give us. We didn't pick these glasses. I would take a mug or a regular fucking clear glass. I kind of feel but. like I'm in San Francisco right now. I've had the, the 90 minute IPA, which was good. But for this, I was trying to get this at the beer fest, but this is good. They don't sell this shit in bottles in California because the ABV is so fucking high. What but, you guys don't know is that uh, Beer King over here, was, when we got this cup, he was drinking it with his with his pinky up in the air like that. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, that good. This is my pinky. <laughs> but, but this shit, it's, 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 it's I'm really buzzing right a little bit. But it, it's, it's good. I like it. It's not a... a the ABV it is, it don't have a lot of liquor, like strong liquor taste, goes down decent. And you fucked up. <laughs> That's why they give you a little fake glass. Like, after what, two, maybe two of these would be free. Yeah, We're going to be cruising. And for this this glass, it's like almost 11 bucks. These motherfuckers better get the job done for 11 bucks. Yeah. I'm not going over there and ask for a fucking refill. No, 11 bucks a month. I think they give us the cup too, no? Uh, mine is mine mine is I'm going to walk out with mine. Yeah, we have to do the Chicano discount. <laughs> Chicano. <laughs> Any staff Put it in our pocket. We need to walk out the back door right here real quick. <laughs> But it's oh, cool. pretty good. Yeah. But David also has a little radio thing going too. Yeah, I got a boxing radio show, man. You know, uh, you know they say boxing is dead. Don't believe the hype. Uh, boxing is still strong. We do a three-hour boxing radio show, man. You know, uh, uh, every Thursday night. We're gonna be in Oxnard, California. This is the first time we're ever gonna do a live broadcasting. And uh, we're gonna have some fighters there live. We're gonna, you know, view, uh, uh, broadcast live sparring and then sit back. You know, the main reason why we're doing it is because. Uh, we want to kind of give recognition to these gyms that produce fighters for us for entertainment value. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, these fighters got to come from somewhere. They got there's, there's got to be a root of where they're growing from. So it's our way of uh, showing appreciation. It's heading out to different gyms all all around California. Um, which is uh, you know LA is the mecca of boxing. That's where they produce a lot of young kids and fighters. You know, San Jose man back in the days was was strong, strong, had a lot of roots and a lot of fight fans, you know. Unfortunately, it's now become the uh, mecca of MMA. Yeah, UFC. You know? Yeah, UFC and stuff, you know what I mean? Um, the apples and oranges type of sport to me, you know. I know a lot of folks try to make comparisons. There is not a comparison, you know. It's just diff it's a difference. It's basketball and football, in my opinion. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I mean, I, like I wanted MMA. to see that. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't like it. I just don't... Uh, it doesn't attract. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. seeing two homeboys wrestling around. <laughs> All sweaty. Wearing yeah. little shorts. <laughs> you know? It looks kind of gay to me, but I wouldn't want to fight any of those motherfuckers. Well. No, they definitely they're athletes. You know, that's the, that's the key word is they are athletes. They have to do a, a certain amount to, to get themselves to a certain point. Um, 
even though the PEDs and uh, you know uh, steroids move it, it's, it's yeah. coming strong. A lot of these fighters are getting caught, not just in MMA, in boxing as well. You know, it's something that needs to be cleaned up. You know, I mean, it's nothing new. Baseball, basketball, football players have been taking antibiotics, I mean, antibi uh, taking supplements in their bodies to, to gain that extra speed or gain that extra amount to be great. But when it comes to combat sports. And we got to be a little worried. Let's stuff, let's, you know? Since we're on the topic of, of, of uh, steroid type of thing, what do you think of Pacquiao? How he fucking gained so much like muscle? Muscle? Man. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends, man. I mean, I don't like to make speculations. That's something that we never do on leaving the ring. We have to have hard facts. Yeah. You know, but is it questionable? Anything is questionable. You know, I said this. Uh, I said this a while back, about a month ago, on our radio show, and it pissed off a lot of people. I said at this moment, right now. If you don't take VADA testing, which is, that's what they test for, is they have a you know uh, CIR testing system that tests their blood cells, tries to find out what type of supplements are put into their bodies. If you're not taking that, and you're taking VADA and you're taking other types of testing uh, um, organizations, going through other organizations to get testing, we're gonna have to put you under suspicion because that is boxing. Yeah, that I don't is know about boxing. You know, but I can tell you about beer. <laughs> But you can tell you about beer and the pinky going up in the air. You get it? I can put the pinky someplace else too if you want me to. You know. But this is this is my we we, we go back way back. Way I back. had my first summer job okay, there many 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 years ago. So you know he's, he's in town today for the boxing event here at the Bay Street Pavilion. You know I want to come by have have people with them share a share a bid and let them know you know who he is because he has this thing going with the boxing and shit. So you know. We'll be around way again. back, way back. We'll Two Chicanos in the hood, you know. Yeah, I'm already buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the beer key. I gotta say, if you're responsible, don't drink and drive. You know, keep your dukes up, motherfuckers. All right, like, especially if you're roaming in San Jose. <laughs>